hello guys welcome to my youtube channel the full stack project in this tutorial i will show you how to use serve actions in next 13 to do a simple file upload as usual i will be sharing the github repo for this code repository in my youtube description and i will go through the code i have written so that you guys can understand what's happening and try it by yourself and as a backup plan you have my code as well i think that's how i learn stuff as you can see, I'm going to use uh, serve actions. In my previous uh, video, I used API routes to handle the file that I upload. So if you haven't watched that, you can have a look at that one as well. So in previous video, I get the file from my input field and I send it to the API route. But in here, since I'm using serve actions, I use this use server and handle my file upload in the server so I don't have to call API endpoints from the front end side from the page.tsx file as well inside that page.tsx I'm sending the files to the server and the uploading of the file happens in the, the server side so one thing very specific in this uh, type of approach is this website can be worked even by turning off uh, JavaScript you have all the uh, fun you have all the benefits of using a server to do these file uploads rather than using the front end when you are using these server actions make sure to add that you know enable that server actions in your config in your next config so you have to use this experimental object and server actions to true you have to add this code block here so to make it run so let's get started guys as usual i have created a separate folder called server upload and in my server upload i have created this page.tsx file so whenever i uh, go to localhost localhost 3000 slash server upload you can see this uh, user interface in here i have my uh, form let's go to server upload and as usual you can have my form here and yeah so once we upload you know there's no any on change event or anything once you click submit in here you can see once we click this upload here once we click the submit this upload action get triggers and in this upload you have the access to the data in your form so in here uh, you can get the file using data.get file uh, since the input name is file here and here you can see I have got the file with the uh, it's it's a type of uh, form data and once we get the file you can convert it to a uh, buffer so once you convert this to a data type for a buffer you can do whatever uh, you like like you can write, read it write it to a separate file or upload it to s3 bucket or upload it to a database or anything so this is how you convert this uploaded file to a buffer stream right once you created this to a buffer stream this is how I'm going to uh, in this uh, in this step I'm going to save my file inside the uploaded file inside uh, in my project folder inside my project folder call this uh, I have created this files folder and I'm going to save it inside the files folder so I'm giving the path using this so consider that when given path inside these uh, pages or anything like this when we are using this write file the path start from the src folder so you have to go one level back using this dot slash and then you have this files folder and then you are going to use the file.name to save the uh, uploaded file so you can use this write file path and the buffer you created here to save the file inside the files folder and also I have used this console.log uh, to clearly identify the uploaded is successful and also I'm returning a success true uh, from the server side so let's see uh, how this happens in the uh, using react server side make sure to use this use server inside the function you create so everything happens inside this function uh, happens inside the server not in the browser 
so let's have a look so I'm going to create a choose file and we click upload okay you can see whatsapp image have been uploaded yeah so you can see this happens uh, inside the server like we didn't use any use state or anything so it's very powerful that's how you can use server actions to upload the uh, file using next 30 so hope you guys got something out of it you know a starter point you can go through the code i share and try it yourself and please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel to get this kind of tips and tricks when working full stack projects and have a nice day guys